under the party president and another one under the chief executive is to establish exactly who said what to whom and whether these allegations were properly received at the time. They, they relate to events inside the party uh, administration that were in effect five and ten years ago. Uh, I think it's very important that rather than jump to conclusions, we just wait until this investigation has taken place. Well, this is the party just this morning. I'm joined now by Kelly Schofield, chief legal correspondent at The Sun. Uh, Kevin, thanks very much indeed for joining us. Well, we'll hear all, of course, in a uh, couple of hours' time, but uh, even the suggestion of a change of position could be uh, problematic. Yeah, quite. I mean, it can be quite, quite incredible, really. A real shift in position, it sounds like, from Nick Clegg. He's been in Spain, but I don't think that's much of an excuse for him not to try and get a grip of this um, developing story. Uh, he was pretty unequivocal on Thursday night that um, the first thing he knew about it was when he was contacted by Channel 4 News on Thursday. Um, the party has stuck to that line. As you see, you heard Vince Cable this morning saying the same thing. Jeremy Brown, Home Office Minister, another senior Lib Dem said the same thing today as well, and now we're hearing that Nick Clegg is, I think, attempting to use some weasel words to say that he was aware of rumours and not of firm allegations. Um, it doesn't really stack up with more things, things Well, his enemy's going to find that one hard to take uh, on the chin with uh, an ignore on it. Well, quite, and as Sophie Reds just said, the timing couldn't be more worse for the Dems. Um, we're only four days out from the Easter by-election when I been led to believe by uh, sort of party insiders from all sides that the Lib Dems were heading for quite a comfortable victory. There was a oh. poll this morning where they showed that the Tories are now in front, and stories like this um, sort of sneeze really surrounding the Lib Dems doesn't do them any favours at all in the run up to the by election. 